All right, this is the chapter eight, a test form. Um, I'm gonna do the question one solutions for you all. Question one, we're gonna find the geometric mean. Find the geometric mean. Well, if you remember geometric mean, the equation is x equals the square root of a times b. Well, this is my A and this is my B. So let's plug those in. So X is equal to the square root of 20 times five. All right? Now, two different ways we can do this. We're either gonna multiply this out and factor it or we can factor it right now. Well, I know that 20 is factorable by four and by five. And so now look what I have here. I know that four is a perfect square. And I know what, what happens when I multiply five times five? What do I get? Well, I get 25. Well, if you recognize these are two of our first four perfect square numbers. So four is a perfect square and 25 is a perfect square. So when I take the square root of both of those, I get 2, square root of 4 is 2, square root of 25 is 5, and so now we multiply 2 times 5, and we get 10. Now, the other way you could have done this is you could have t plugged these in, and you could have just multiplied this, and this becomes the square root of 100, and you guys all know the square root of 100 is just 10. It's just 10. The next question one, my A and my B are seven and nine. So write down your equation, plug in your numbers. This becomes the square root of seven times nine. Well, we already know that this is a perfect square. So I'm not gonna multiply that out and then factor it again. That would be silly. So I take the square root of nine and that goes on the outside of my radical sign. The seven, well, that's a prime number. There's no factoring that number. That is your answer right there. The next question is a variation on the last one. This is my A and this is my B, but instead of having seven and nine, I have nine and 11. So plug it into your equation. Geometric mean X equals the square root of A times B. Plug in your A and B, and right now, stop. You should see a, that recognize that perfect square, and you should have a little alarm go off in your head, ding, 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 that that's a perfect square. No, cho no point in multiplying this and then trying to factor your, out, out, your, 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 your product by another perfect square. We know that nine is a perfect square, and the square root of nine is three. So take the square root that goes on the outside of the house, and 11 is what stays inside the box.